Hello, my little fellow munchkin boys. I'm Mr. Church. Today we're building right near TNG 76, so we can keep an eye on this little bugger. Uh, right here, and by the wayward. Mostly because of the flat terrain, but also mostly to keep an eye on him. You can't trust the shifty man. Now, as you can see, I've got this already uh, laid out here. And the reason I, I didn't show building that is I had it recorded and then I blue screened, which of course lost the date on that. I didn't want to build it all over again, so let's just take a quick look at it. These, of course, are the new defensive walls from the Atom Shop. They're only $7,000, of course. But I just have it laid out like this in a square with a long walls on the corners and a short wall in the middle and then on this side two short walls in and then a gate on the inner bit and i think that's pretty easy to uh like uh to put down just make sure you start at the lowest point so that none of the bits are floating i'll show how to do that in a bit but um yeah corrupted footage haha -ha. so i've got this foundation here uh, and I'm using this hillside to get it up this high. So a hill next to where you're building is actually very helpful. Now you can test to see how um, straight it is from this point here. You're not going to be able to put a foundation over that gate. But we can see um, if the uh, thing is centered this way. And we can also test uh, to see um, if... Uh, yeah, I forgot. I'm, I'm not supposed to say ah uh, anymore, um, because my mother, uh, commented on my last post. I didn't even know she had a YouTube account, and she was telling me never to say any filler words ever again, which I, I felt to be a little unfair. I feel that most people use filler words, especially when they don't know what the fuck they're talking about, and that's definitely the category that I would fit into in this moment. But, no, no more filler words or I'm fucking grounded, so let's just uh, try yet again. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to test to make sure that I can place an upper floor over top of that gate area. Because if I can't, then I have to raise it up a little bit, the top of the gate will intersect. And then I'm going to go back, delete everything, and... And now we're starting from back here with a little um, catwalk thing because this this catwalk is magical and you can delete it leaving unsupported stairs. We're going to leave that over there for now and now we have this. So from this you're going to build the upper floor and this is going to be what we build our roof on top of basically and maybe a little rafter area inside the house. And uh, because we already tested it we can now put this right over top of that, as you can see. And because the stairs are floating, you want to be very careful when you're putting stuff down. Uh, because if you fuck up like this, you're not going to be able to delete it, as you can see. But if, if you do delete it, you just put that there, and now you can go back and delete it. But you do have to start over from that this from the catwalk. So try not to fuck up, but leave the stairs there in case you do. Um, oops! Well, I say, crikey, how do you not say any filler words when you're speaking? That's just impossible. I guess I could start scripting the video. That would be organic. I'm sure that would feel like, um, oh, wow, I did it again. Jesus Christ. I do apologize for the shoddy craftsmanship. Um, oh, um, I've said it again. God damn it. I can't stop. You know, it's like a, it's like a bad Oh yeah, instead of saying, um, I'm just gonna leave empty, empty space in the video between when I would say the words that I'm trying to think of. That will sound good. Um, see what I mean? I can't stop doing it. It's very much heroin. But there are other things that I am addicted to worse than that, like games that take all your money but don't give you any respect um, or consideration or courtesy. Uh, uncle! Uncle! Uncle Larry's underwear! Do-da! 
Now, as you can see, we've got this uh, thing here. So what we're going to do is we want to move this foundation down here over by half a foundation. So we're going to build up. We're going to build a... Ooh, be careful. You don't want that half wall, the half floor to stick to the, the, big, the big floor time or you're in trouble. And now just go back down and put another foundation down there. Uh, that doesn't want to go, but it'll go over here. And from there, you just delete all this bullshit. And then you can snap over with other foundations till it is directly in front of this thing. Now to get that, what we're going to do is we're going to take a Bernie bit time which of course is this beautiful little Bernie burn, Bernie thing, which burns stuff. And you're gonna burn, burn it, just burn it. Burned, and it's, even though it's a defensive wall, seems to have the smallest health bar of any object in the game, so it's very quick to break. Now put this one in, now we have to burn that again. And once you've, the reason why we have to burn this is once it's burned we can then remove the foundation that's supporting it so burn that and then just store the foundation and whatnot and then that's all hideous looking but if you look we're actually gonna i'm actually gonna burn this stuff so i can get rid of this foundation as well uh that was there just so i could get the two windows on the front to be perfectly in line um and now that they are just wait for it. Yeah, the wooden wall is much stronger than the five-inch thick brick wall. That's fine. That is fine. I'm sure it makes perfect sense. Um, but if you see, there's like gaping holes here. We're going to just repair it real quick, which is the fastest way is to just go here and uh, do that. And usually minimal lag occurs, but that's all right. Now, that looks pretty good, like some boarded up goddamn windows, which are good. Now we're going to start putting the wall up and this is a beautiful thing putting walls up because um well keeps the bad guys out of our house i don't know anyway just let's try to get this done here um i will just admit at this point uh that that wasn't actually my mother in the last video telling me to stop saying um uh, that was actually some Karen type of individual. Um, and as you can see, I frankly don't give a shit. If I have to use filler words to keep the ball rolling, I'm going to continue to do so, just like every other human being that talks in any given language. Now, of course, that's, that's a conclusion I'm jumping to. I'm sure there's some languages where they don't use filler words, but I don't know of any personally off the top of my head. Uh, but we're not going to get bogged down with that. I'm sure it's just a friendly little friend of three subscriber Jeff, who, if you guys remember, is to be revered and adored. Because uh, he gave, um, I think it was called, in his words, constructive criticism. That was it. Constructive criticism is when you have three subscribers... And you go onto someone's uh, channel and you tell them how to make all their videos. And your advice is to tell them to stop being a tool. First of all, if I stopped doing that, wouldn't that kind of, you know, that would... Eh, it, what's the point, you know? I'm, I'm trying to build a house here. And I don't need to be told what to do. Okay. You know. I live in my mom's basement, obviously, since I play video games. So, you can imagine, if I need to be told what to do, I'll just go upstairs. So, um, you know. Obviously, if... You, uh, and, okay, so, let's say for, you know, hypothetically, you don't understand what, you know, sarcasm is. And you don't have something called a sense of humor. That... Okay, I, I get it. But still, like, someone should be there. Like, hey, uh, Jeff, I don't I don't know if you should have 
access to the internet at this point in your life. Maybe in a couple of years, once you've gone through some therapy, maybe learn, you know, how to engage with another human being in a respectful and intelligent manner. That could be something that, you know, I don't know if the caretakers of Jeff, but you let him on, you know, you let him loose and it's just causing havoc in the community. And it's something that maybe you should think about. Uh, and on other, and other news, uh, I, I realize we are, I don't know, 10 minutes in and I haven't started bitching about Bethesda yet. And I do apologize. I, um, I really dropped the ball on it there. Um, so I think what we can talk about, uh, is, ooh, I know, guess what? So Bethesda has removed the explosive effect in the PTS from the new heavy weapon, which was called the Pepper Shaker. This is um, the type of thing that infuriates people because they also in removed um, the heavyweights effect from power armor, and they also removed the ability for us to get unyielding power armor. But they left lightweight, or I'm sorry, uh, weightless power armor. So we can still get weightless power armor and limerent damage reduction rolls on our power armor, which of course do the square root of fuck all because you know it's power armor, so you can't be weight, you can't be invisible. You're in a power armor frame at all times, and also you won't, you don't have dam you don't take limb damage in power armor. They left those in the PTS, but they were very quick to remove the unyielding ability. That's that's good. I think that was what the uh, only role that people wanted. Now, I'll be honest, I still think, like, I understand where they're coming from there. It's OP as shit. But take care of your goddamn shit before you go doing stuff that's gonna piss people off. I, I, I genuinely don't think they have any connection or any idea of what's going on in the entire community. Like, that's something that, that I just, I strongly believe. And it's just, it's leading to all sorts of issues with the community has been treated like shit since beta. And we're all acting shocked that with each iteration of today and Beth says to fucks us in the ass happily. And we're just shocked out of our minds. Um, which is, you know, I guess that's on us, but that's all right. You know what? One day, this game will reach the point where I think God himself will have to step in. You know, he'll be like, What the fuck is happening down there? Like, there's actually a third world war, and it's because of the fuck a video game? What's happening? You know, and I don't think that's something that I want to happen. As you can see, I'm just making some of these uh, double walls into shack walls. Because they kind of uh, bleed through the texture, creates this nice little boarded up look. This really scrappy look with just a little bit of color to it with the, uh, the contemporary set underneath. I'm going to use some, you know, metal here and there. Some wood here and there just to break up the texture so it's not this repeated texture generically across the whole build. Um, which gives it, you know... I think a really nice uh, blend of color. But by doing what we did with the stairs, we're able to stack this upper floor so that there's the slight overhang over the bottom wall, which I think looks really cool in my humble opinion. And you guys know me, I'm probably the most humble person that's ever walked this earth. Now, three subscriber Jeff did give me a run for my money. But luckily, I'd already spent all my money in the Atom Shop buying a bunch of fucking shit that looks like garbage and I know I'll never place in my camp and haven't to this day. So it was all good. I had lost essentially nothing. Except for the love of 3 subscriber Jeff, and I really hope that one day he can come to forgive me for not bowing down and worshipping his bitch ass. So right now, we're gonna put a roof on this build. Which is good. The only place we're not going to put a roof is where the stairs are poking through. For that, we're going to have to use a chimney that's as big as Todd's fucking nose. Now, his nose isn't that big, so the chimney won't be either. 
okay? Uh, that, that wasn't really a good metaphor, but, like, what do you expect? I'm not allowed to use filler words. I gotta think of something quick, you know? We're talking about... I don't know what we're talking about anymore, but this is the chimney. Uh, if you want to put a staircase in front of the stairs, you have to use certain stairs um, for and certain walls because some of them inter intersect. Uh, I found that these red rocket... I don't even know what these are called. They're red warehouse stair things and the metal walls seem to work well together uh but first you're gonna almost fall off the roof and uh, use a jetpack unless you're tng and you don't have a jetpack because you can't find the use in them uh then you don't use a jetpack in that case you just fall and then have to jump up again which is fine if you know some people like doing a more you know work than they have to to get stuff done and that's that's something that just brings people joy, I guess. But yeah, that should be big enough for Santa to fit down. If not, we can expand it. I know he has been eating a lot of crab rangoons over the um, the summer season to try to, you know, buff up. Because, like, it, you thought Cr Santa was a jolly old fellow. Imagine Corona Belly Santa. You know, we're talking, like... An entire year of just sitting there munching on food and that it's just a crazy you know so now what we're gonna do to build the bottom of the chimney is I'm gonna burn the righteous fuck out of these walls down here. and you can try burning the uh, demonic fuck out of that but I think that that's just a little overkill see uh, but this will allow us to put these uh, glorious uh, brick half walls in uh, like so, and like so, and of course something lagged there. Ooh, and when it finally caught up, it had made the foundation here into a ghost piece. Even though that's there, it's not showing up for me. If this happens to you, you can fast travel to an instance or go to another server where your camp can't be placed, and then hop again where your camp also can't be placed. But eventually, one day, you can get into a server where you can place it and the foundation is back. But I immediately just deleted that foundation. And then I put in these uh, these poles here. Okay. And then what I did was I took my... Now, you can actually just snap through them, which is nice. If you're having a hard time getting them to snap, just burn them, of course. But you can, yeah, you can just snap uh through those poles to create some thick ass edges for the fireplace and now what i'm doing i don't know like i definitely am not sure why i kept this clip specifically in the video but you can like see me looking around at everything that i own in the atom shop which is good and also oh, look i can build defensive walls that's cute oh look look at all my stored stuff oh look a a anyway uh so what i did eventually was i found this burning flamethrower trap of glory and i burned those posts and then i put some of the brick walls back and everything was fixed um it, yeah everything was fixed except for the game i should i should uh, mention and the fast travel bug we can't fix that or it won't be canon anymore so let's come in here and make the insides into brick so that we don't have weird white uh insides i don't know what i'm talking about you guys assume that i know what i'm talking about and that's that's your first and biggest mistake uh then of course come back out here fix it and there you have something glorious beautiful um but i've it, yeah and then the, the fireplace i'll just put this in front of it literally no reason and yeah so this is the finished product it was pretty fun to make and i think it turned out pretty good it allowed me to build a completely new style of house. And of course, if you come in here, uh, we've got the little fireplace here, which has the egg, which we're, I'm not sure who keeps putting eggs in all of our buildings. Uh, but then we have, of course, all this shit. We've got somebody here digging through our stuff. We can probably uh, deal with the intruder in a moment. Uh, and then up here, we just have like this rafter area where I've able, I was able to cram all my crafting benches. If you are having trouble, by the way, putting any of these benches down, just remove those roof pieces, put them down, and then put the roof back. Uh, sometimes it does have this 
uh, vertical collision shit going on. Uh, but we got our tattoos, and in the corner we've got a nice little place to sleep. Let's come on out here, try to close that, and it doesn't work, of course, so we try again. And this is what we got, and I think that it was fun to make. Uh, it, it, well, I mean, it could have been more fun, but I think it actually turned out pretty good in uh, some, you know, some version of the word good. Uh, and of course, you can add those little uh, fake boarded up windows to the other panels on the walls if you so choose. I just put it on the front there, but of course, it could be continued all the way around. But uh, yeah, I think this was fun. Uh, I do appreciate you guys. Thank you to my patrons and of course to three subscriber Jeff and, and my mother last time. And hopefully you come back. But uh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm eating TNG's uh, name, which is weird, I guess. I shouldn't have said that. But yeah, I will see you guys in what I think is called the next video. Where's this? Oh, there it is. Ha ha ha.